guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Ringside Collectibles exclusive The Shield Kurt Angle figure. Uh, it's kind of weird that this Ringside exclusive does not have the Ringside exclusive sticker on it. I don't know if mine was just an error or uh, if it was a first batch of them or what, but I'm not sure. If uh, you got one with the sticker, be sure to comment below and let me know. Uh, pretty interesting, mine doesn't. But anyway, love the packaging design. I think it looks really cool. They even made the Elite logo look like a patch that you would sew onto like fabric, so that's pretty neat. Um, this figure did get a lot of backlash when it was first announced as people thought it was dumb. Uh, seeing it in person, I think it looks a lot better than it did in the pictures, which is usually the case with a lot of figures lately, to be honest. Um, it's, of course, a moment I don't remember a whole lot. I, of course, remember, you know, when he joined them but it wasn't anything like spectacular I guess to me so it's interesting they made a figure of it but regardless at least it's a very unique Kurt Angle figure than one we've ever had and uh, probably would have never have seen if it wasn't a ringside exclusive uh, but anyway uh, like I said love the packaging the vest design is really cool there's a picture of Kurt on this side it says his name on that side on the back has some statistics about him as well as talks about when he joined up with uh, Rollins and Dean Ambrose to take on the others. Um, so it's kind of cool. His vest obviously in the picture there looks different than the one the figure's wearing. So I don't know how anal people are. I mean usually people complain about a lot of stuff but it's still pretty close and pretty cool. So anyway let's take a look at him fresh out of the package. Alright guys, so here you have the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Kurt Angle figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, the figure's alright. Uh, you know, it, it's very similar to all the other S.H.I.E.L.D. figures. As you can tell, it has the same legs and stuff. I think the vest is new though, which is nice. He, uh, of course, has all the lead articulation underneath. And uh, my favorite part about it, really, is probably the tape and stuff on his hands. Is I think it was a uh, nice detail they added. There's actually black and then there's like a dark gray on it so you know it's just a nice little bonus detail I thought it was all black until I really looked at it up close so that's a little extra detail they did with it and uh, it's still the same head skin I believe from his general manager basic that came out not long ago uh, but what's really interesting is he comes with the old barricade it's from Roman Reigns uh, first elite figure I believe actually where you could spear a guy through it and it brakes or whatever so if you don't have like the barricades behind it there um, which I highly recommend those are also on ringside those are to scale but this one isn't as you can see Kurt's way too tall for it he can't even like place his hands at a normal height on it so I don't know not a fan of that accessory but they used it just because he came over the barrier I believe if I'm not mistaken uh, but besides that the figure's not bad like I said, the vest is nice. His head scan's the same as his other one. I mean, it looks like him. He's smiling and everything because he's so happy <laughs> to be a part of the shield for that moment. And like I said, the vest looks really nice. Very detailed. You can, I mean, it's not meant to be removed, but if you really wanted to, you just slice it's like an X-Acto knife here and here to remove the glue to get it off of him. But he has a elite chest joint underneath, so his articulation is not restricted. They did paint his belt buckle, which is great. Um, but like I said, the hand tape and stuff looks really nice. As there's dark black and then like a charcoal dark gray there, if you could see that. So I'm glad they at least put some extra detail in. And then he just has a typical shield legs that uh, Rollins and Dean had. I'm sure Roman had these legs too, to be honest. But now you can see the detail in the pant legs with the pockets and cargo look sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's an okay exclusive. It's not my favorite one. Recently, I much prefer the Matt Hardy that uh, just came out around the same time. So check out my review of that one as well. Um, but like I said, at least this is a unique Kurt Angle than any we've ever had. So at least it would stand out in your Kurt Angle collection. Uh, but yeah, you can get it on Ringside Collectibles currently. Save 10% with my discount code MBG. And uh, be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you'd like to see me do. And now that you can watch it on Facebook as well. And uh, yeah, 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next episode. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.